Hello, you gorgeous mother f Today we're going back in time to watch the OG ways to surprise adopt a child. Before we get into it, this video is not meant to bully, harass, or harm anybody. Anything I say is to be taken as a joke. Don't take me serious, and if you do, that sucks because I'm not a lawyer. Everybody in this video is innocent until proven guilty. These are simply just my thoughts. Anyway, quick rundown. Cops tracked down a man reported to be offering children candy to get into his truck. Fucking candy, dude. Not Wi-Fi. Not V-Bucks, Battlestar Galactica chess set, no, we're talking fucking candy. Candy and a Nintendo Switch. They're doing great. They're doing great. Really 1970 vibe. What's up, man? Looking for a Leon, or whatever his name is. Leon? Uh, who owns that truck? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Is he home? Huh? Is he home? I don't know. Come on, man. You don't know if he's home? I don't know. I'm just here. Okay. I'm his friend. What would you be like? Jan, I'm Yeah. So, we'll do this a couple of ways. Okay, he's not in any trouble right now. Were you in the truck with him earlier? You know why we're here, right? It's the stuff you guys said to those kids over there. What kids? Tell him to come out here. The truck pulled up beside him and asked him if he wanted candy, a PS5, and a Switch to get into the truck. There's two guys that stopped in the black beat up truck and they asked us to get in. Yeah, I don't know what gave this fucking Blueberry the idea to go around his neighborhood asking kids to get into his fucking car, but probably not a good idea. At least some kids are smart enough not to get in the car. I know my bitch ass would have been like, Nintendo? Shh. 1v1 me, pussy. I'd beat your ass. And yeah, that's how he would have gotten me. Tell him to come out here. He's in the shower right now. I'm going to pull everyone out the house. I'm going to get a search warrant for your now. house. For what? And when he's done with this, I'll, that's not how this is going to work. Okay, he could come out here and we could be adults and cordial about it. He's in the shower right now, but... Then tell him just to come out and talk to us when he's done. Okay. okay. Tell him to step it up, though, because we're not going to sit out here all day. Fair enough. Okay. Go let him know. The only problem would be you guys giving us red flags to not want to talk to us. That's the only problem that could happen right now, okay? All right. Okay? Nice all right. No problem. Thanks. As soon as he's out, I'll have money. Yep. Let him know, okay? Okay, gotcha. Why, is that job there, my job? Yeah. Love when they play dumb. Yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> hey, Bella, do you want to stay on the show? Oh, I told you guys are on it. Alright. Were you with them? Because they described a guy in blue shirt, blue shorts and all that. They literally have a panel van. They literally, it's fucking, do you, am I the only one that thinks that just screams guilty? I could be overlooking something. Maybe it's the mattress. <laughs> the fuck is that even doing there? That's funny, blue shorts, because if I was even sitting in the truck, you wouldn't be able to see my shorts, so. Okay. Sorry, you're full of shit. You didn't nice. get out then? Huh? You didn't get out? No, who the fuck's getting out of that piece of shit? Listen, Captain Crunch. Your defense is who's getting out of that piece of shit. Motherfucker, how do you think a car works? Do you think you just get locked into the car the moment you step into it and it's no longer a choice of getting in or out? Like, he's only denying getting out of the car. Why didn't you just ask the guy if he got into the car? <laughs> then there's no way to explain how he got out because he's not in the fucking car anymore. I don't know. Yeah, nobody. I don't know. Yeah, so, listen, like he said... Like who said? The kid with the deputy over here. You got, you got a problem, dude? Do yeah. you want there to be a problem? Do you have a problem? With you, I do. I don't, I don't have a problem. No? Okay. Not really. Alright. Like I'm just said. wondering what, what the attitude's about, you know? Like, I just don't like cops. Well, because, no, yeah. You get in trouble, you do stupid stuff on occasion. Yeah? Yeah. Looks like it. I, I get it. We all do stupid stuff, right? Yeah, that's cool. One day you'll grow up and realize you do stupid stuff and mature. Okay. Who's tr whose van is this? I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, people usually act like this when they know they just did something stupid. Oh, shut, up. shut up, yeah. Yeah, you're really, you're really getting there, man. Huh? Your feelings hurt? Are my feelings hurt? Yeah. All right, buddy. I'll be right back. You get me? Yeah, I get nice. It. 
Okay. They look pretty good in that uniform. Thanks, man. They're new uniforms. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up, ma'am? How you doing? Good. You drive this truck? That's not yeah. Okay. You were just out driving around earlier? No, I don't even run. No, you, you were. Don't play dumb. No, earlier, yeah. All right, yeah. Right now. We, we, had two, we had two calls from different people about, about you driving that truck out, all right? Yes, sir. I don't care that you were driving the truck. No, yes, sir. All right, did you, did you talk to anybody well, on you? No, it's not running. Did no. you? Just right now? No, yeah, it's stuck in. I don't care. Neutral. There's some shit. Yeah, what were you uh? What were you up to earlier? Driving I around. I rolled the truck over the weekend. I showed him it still ran. Yeah, I saw you were in an accident or something like that. Yes, sir. So we got two reports of you stopping to talk to some kids on the side of the road. So why are you turning and looking at him? What's that look all about? Kids, yeah, see that look? That's like, yeah, we did something stupid no, I and didn't we're playing that. dumb. Somebody did something dumb and you know it was yeah, one no, of you. I didn't even, uh, honest to God? Uh, I'm focused on Two people truck. called about that truck oh, I believe stopping it. to talk to some kids. I, I don't know if I would classify this as dumb or stupid considering, you know, he's trying to pick up a fucking child. More like sinister. And second, do you guys think that Beavis and Butthead here are butting heads? Because I don't know if he really believed that table was there or he just wanted to sit in his boyfriend's lap. Don't know. Don't ask me. And before you're like, hey, you're assuming he's gay, he was trying to pick up little boys, all right? All I'm saying is he ain't straight. Okay. Oh, I'm talking about kids. Yeah, Not me. Been it was one of you. So waiting here. Said he was driving the truck, but I have no idea what we're talking about. So. <clears throat> well, just listen, guys. Um, so luring and enticing a child, a minor, an adult doing that's a crime. All right, yes, and, I, I'm, I'm still unaware of what I did. Like, you yeah. can pull the camera footage from the corner store here. I never stopped and talked to no kid. Okay. Well, a nine-year-old reporting something like that to us isn't something I a nine-year-old does. And to no kid. Okay. I do not think that the nine-year-old was lying. Although I have been on the opposite end of the lie to where my brother told a lie and I got taken away for a few years. So I understand that it's completely he said, she said here. There's no actual proof, none of that, which really fucking sucks. Other than the kid knowing exactly what the guy's wearing before getting to the house and knowing what kind of truck he's in, obviously because it's in such a fucked up condition, is really sketchy which kind of points to the kid telling the truth. In my situation, it was really different. My little brother had said that my stepdad hit him with a baseball bat, but he really hit his head on a ceiling fan, so we got put in foster for a few years. He reported, described your truck to a team. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I don't, shit. And <laughs> someone, yeah, someone yeah. who was not involved, just a random person saw you talking to the kid and called it in, too, before the... Is Bella the Baxter? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> 325. Huh? Nah, that's where this happened. Yeah, so a nine-year-old uh, is reporting to us that yeah, someone yeah. in that truck over on Sunnybrook yeah, right here by the made, made some comments that, hey, you want candy, you want a Nintendo Switch, and there was a Nobody third thing. No shit like that, bro. No, I'm, you I'm can, just telling you, you what happened. If, 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 right if, over here. You can pull the camera footage. You can pull camera footage from any one of these houses, man. If something else was That's said where sure. maybe the kid thinks that happened, no, I mean, that'd be no, sir. something to tell us. Yeah, I was just giving, I just rolled I the thought you guys were going to be here because that thing was on the damn road because it's not real legal. Man. Yeah, I don't care. We don't see it driving, so I don't No, yes, sir. I, I understand, but. Just if you drive yeah, it like that, you can't get stopped. Stop so. no kid. You can pull any camera footage around here. Did you guys, like, I mean, did kids cause you issues? Was there a group no, of kids no, causing you guys no. issues? No. No. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you didn't I'm see any other black trucks on the road? Maybe. No, that shit. You can't miss my truck. When no, I know, but I'm making sure we don't have the wrong bed. truck. Did you guys no. see another just... No, shit, if you said it ain't got no bed, bitch, I'm the only one around here yeah, with no yeah. bed. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just took it off two days ago. So, but no, I never said... Shit, if anything, I may, may have been yelling at him. Asking him if you wanted candy? No. Okay. I never said nobody, candy. Nobody even said nothing. I never said candy. Me. Candy never came out of my mouth. Okay. So... Copy. Just you guys are being cool now, so we'll speed this along. But basically, we are investigating a crime, all right, at this point still. All right. Um, 
You told us you were driving the truck. We know yes, he was sir. a passenger. I got no ID. We're making sure if any IDs, official IDs, can be made. So yes, until uh, I'm gonna go call my deputy now to see if that's I happening. Mean, on. I mean, you need my ID. No, unless we don't I have don't it. I have my ID on me, but I did give him all my right. Yeah, you're fine. Information. So until I get that call that we're we're done here, you guys are staying right here. Okay. All right. All right. So we're gonna take a little short ride, and like that paper said, don't feel pressure like you have to, you know, pick somebody out. All right, we don't want to accidentally arrest the wrong person, okay? All right. I'm around to your location now. Hey, you guys can stand up. Stand about 15 feet apart. Just come on up, come on up here. Want them to stand in the yard? Yeah, just, um, you can come in the grass, you're good right there. truck okay do you see the person who was saying that the blue one this guy in the blue yeah okay how certain are you certain oh, 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 oh. turn your radio down a little bit just off yeah just down enough for her. he's about to say something um, that's affirmative 10-4 which one blue shirt copy all right, I'm gonna look up a couple of things real quick. Yeah, um, yeah. You guys can sit back down where you were. You heard that? Right? I'm gonna look up a couple of things real quick. Hello. Do you want to give me a sworn report statement in regards to what what occurred? Yeah, I can. Okay. Do you know the meaning of perjury? Perjury. Uh, I'll explain uh, it. No, I don't. Okay, it's perjury right is a crime in the state of Florida. It can be committed by telling lies or omitting information which is leaving information out well under oath perjury is a crime in the state of florida do you understand what i explained about perjury yeah all right probably taking a sworn statement on place on oath if you could raise your right hand do you swear or affirm the statement you're about to give will be the truth the whole truth nothing but truth yes sir all right so you know why we're here we already talked to you earlier um would you like to say anything about that matter at all no do you know what i'm talking about uh, i know that we went for a drive did yeah. a trail stopped at well, it's Darcy's house, but we stopped there to talk to Chase because he's staying there right now. Okay. And we drove back here. At any point, do you remember seeing any kids? Uh, or, talk, or talking to any kids on the side of the road, walking home from school? I don't remember. You don't remember? I don't think we did. I don't okay. believe so. You don't, you don't believe you talked to anybody? Okay. Your chance to be honest with me, did you guys, so you're saying you did not talk to any kids on the side of the road at all? No. Not at all? I, mean, I was yelling at Layton, but I was not yelling to no kids, nobody on the side of the road. Do you remember seeing any like walking that. by or anything like that? I was not no. even paying attention. Okay. Um, anything you want to change that or delete from what you told me? No. All right. This concludes the statement. Time is 5.13 p.m. All right, you can go up, sit over there. All right. Layton, you're free to go. So, Joseph, are you going to be coming with us? Come on. Stand up. Come on, going back. Can I give him my vape? Uh, his, oh, wait, his charger's in my pocket, too. Yeah, what's on you goes with you. Can I get my shoes though? So when shoes I do get out of jail? Those ones right there? No, they're made of mine. They're mine. I about it. So you're going for luring and enticing. That's true. Alright, so I have a lot of thoughts about this. For starters, it's weird as fuck that they didn't arrest the driver as well, because if the kid got into the fucking car, you think the blue shirt guy would have driven them home? And second, I don't think any of these charges are going to stick just because there's no actual evidence. It's a he said, she said thing at this moment. There's no proof, there's no camera, there's no recording, nothing stating that this actually happened. The guys denying it, that was really smart, which really fucking sucks. Unless by some chance they are telling the truth. 
Me, personally, I do believe the kid. I think the kid was telling the truth. I just know that there's no way to prove it. But if the kid was 100% correct and this guy gets away with it scot-free, now that you've watched this video, you understand who to avoid. It's not cute. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah, go f*** yourself. Two counts, correct? Yeah, go. Even if you joke around, it's so stupid. Yeah, go f*** yourself. Okay. Moral of the story, even if you're joking, don't try and lure kids into a van or any fucking vehicle. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And a wet fucking shout out to Little Mush here. God damn it, I love you, bro. Thank you so much for being a subscriber and part of my channel. And yeah, love you. I'll see you guys later.